There are more articles coming out noticing the connection between the alt-right and Andrew Yang. Of course, the connection is only that some people in the alt-right support him, not that Andrew Yang is alt-right or has an alt-right platform, but nonetheless this is going to be the major form of attack against him going forwards, and so it needs to be defended against. There are some on Reddit who have disowned him because of his alt-right supporters, but they are in a stupid minority, thankfully, and I'm honestly not sure what else Yang is supposed to do. He already disowned the alt-right in a formal response and told them he didn't want their support. He can't personally write them off the electoral register. Some of it's getting a bit silly. Lately, Yang came out and said that he thinks childhood circumcision is bad and that when you look into the supposed health benefits, the evidence is very shaky. He didn't say he was going to ban it either. However, I saw someone on Twitter say this was proof of anti-Semitism, so we have to factor in the fact that people are idiots, and also after the horrible events in Christchurch, that the normal level of paranoia is going to be ramped way up. The really straightforward defence is, what effect do you actually think his base can have on his policies? If he changed his policies to become white nationalist, then yeah, but that's very much not the case. And I don't think it's ever going to be the case. The best they can do is try and smear him as offering a sort of white Danegeld to keep them under check, but given the overall value of UBI, that's more of a side effect. The fact that he's noticed that the suffering of white people in the Rust Belt led to Donald Trump doesn't mean that he's adopting a white identitarian ideology, especially when he's made similar statements about the suffering of other ethnicities in America. We could crassly point out that he's Asian too, but usually the response is that the alt-right favours honorary Aryans or whatever. Quite how this means that Yang himself is problematic by extension, I don't know. It's conspiratorial nonsense. At the end of the day, his policies are his policies, and that's what he should be judged on. Follow the money, secure the bag.